Hey everyone, I'm Marsha. So I finally started making something that I've been wanting to try out for a long time now, and that is zucchini fries. And y'all, they are so good. So y'all know I love zucchini. I actually have a video on my channel making sauteed zucchini and yellow squash, and no lie, I probably make that recipe at least once a week. Don't ask, I'm addicted to it. But I've been wanting to try out zucchini fries for a long time now. I started making it and it is really good. I am excited to show you guys this recipe. Not only is it flavorful, but it's really easy to make. It's only a few ingredients and I'm gonna show you how it all comes together today. All right, so we're getting ready to get started, but first I have a special guest for you that's gonna be joining me in this video. And it is my son, Ethan. Take that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and be some shot. All right, say hey to everybody, Ethan. Hey. All right, so we're ready to get started. Ethan is joining me today. I'm so excited. So, Ethan, in order to make zucchini fries, what are we going to be using? Uh, eggs, zucchinis, whatever that is. <laughs> All right, so we have two zucchinis here. We have some eggs for our egg wash. We have some salt and spices and herbs. And then we have some panko breadcrumbs. That is it. What's the measuring cup for? Uh, what did I get this for? Oh, cheese, I forgot. We are gonna use some Parmesan cheese. It's still in the refrigerator because I want to take it out until we're ready to use it. Okay. All right, so let's start by cutting up our zucchini. What did I do with my knife? Oh, here it is. Yeah. All right, so first we're gonna start with our zucchini. And very important to note, you kinda wanna get zucchini that's on the thinner side, so not big and bulky zucchini. Why? Because zucchini has a very high water count. So if you get like really thick zucchini, it could make your fries really soggy. So you wanna kinda get thin zucchini that doesn't have as much water in it. So let's cut it up, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I like to cut my zucchini. All right. So we're going to start by cutting off the ends, just like so. And then we're gonna cut right down the middle. Then you're gonna cut down the middle again, make sure it's even, as even as possible. And you just keep doing it. You just keep cutting down the middle to get equal pieces. Like a french fry. Like a french fry. And just then lots of potatoes. There you go. And then, we're gonna cut down the middle one more time to split this piece into two. And then they look like fresh fries. And they look like fresh fries. Kind of like potato wedges, huh? <laughs> yeah. Good fresh wedges that are made of zucchini. Uh huh. They do that same to this other half. So if your zucchini seems to be releasing a lot of moisture, what you wanna do is just take a paper towel and just go ahead and pat some of that water out. If you can, I mean, you don't have to be meticulous about it, but just get a little bit of that moisture out so that way your breading and your egg wash will stick to it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 425 degrees. All right, so it's time to crack our eggs. So I have two eggs here. I'm going to crack open. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. One. Yep. Ooh. That's two. Okay. I was going to say that don't have no oak. <laughs> and then what we want to do is we want to mix it. Yep, just mix these Can eggs together. Can? Yeah. Okay. Real fast? Yeah. Good. All right, so we have our egg wash. Now I'm gonna get our breading together. So I have some panko breadcrumbs and I'm gonna use a cup. Ugh. Go ahead, Ethan. All right, so we got our breadcrumbs. And these are just- It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> these are just plain breadcrumbs, so no seasoning added because we want to be able to add our own seasonings. 
So next we are going to get some salt and some garlic powder. Now I've already poured these so it'll be easy to pour into the bowl, Ethan. Oh, you want me to add it? Okay. <laughs> and then we have some Italian seasoning. So this is the, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next is Italian seasoning. And this is what really brings this recipe together. This, to life. To life, yes. It makes it taste so good, you guys. So you definitely need the Italian seasoning, okay? And I'll put the measurements down below in the description box. All right, so we just need to mix this together. Stir it, stir it, stir it together really good. And the last thing we need to add to this is Parmesan cheese. Oh my gosh. I got it for you. Can I dump the cheese? All right, add the cheese in, Ethan. Okay, what did you put in there? Nothing. You're cooking something. It's, it's just heating. It was heating up. All right, so, sorry, oh my God, did it get in your eye for real? Yeah. Uh, all right, so we have a baking sheet here that I've already lined with parchment paper. I just sprayed it a little bit with Pam spray, cooking spray, just to make sure nothing sticks. And we are getting ready to line everything up. All right, so we're getting ready to start assembling our zucchini fries on the cookie sheet. Now, if you don't have a partner here like I do, what you wanna do is, Yes, it's gonna take a long time cooking. But what you wanna do is you always wanna make sure you have separate hands doing each step. So you're gonna dip the zucchini fries or the zucchini wedges with one hand and then you're gonna actually bread it with another hand. All right, so as I dip, I'm gonna give it to you for the um, bread crumbs. Or I might just lay it in there and then you can put the bread crumbs on, okay? Okay, that's what we did last time. Yep, all right, so I got my egg on there. Ooh. There you go. All right, so we're just gonna keep dipping in the egg wash, putting the breadcrumbs on with our seasoning and our cheese, and then adding it to the cookie sheet. So if you guys have been on my channel for a while, then you may remember Ethan in one of my previous videos when he was, I think you were like six, Ethan. Maybe five, maybe five going on six five or six years old, and he was helping me make muffins. smoothie bags. Oh, well we did do muffins before, but I'm talking about the one with the smoothie bags. Oh, banana. You remember that? Yeah. All right, so I think we I think we was able to fit enough of these on here. I don't think we could fit any more. So yeah, let's wash our hands. All right, hands washed. So now we are getting ready to put this in the oven and we're gonna cook it for about 20 minutes. Now, 10 minutes in, you want to actually Flip the zucchini over, so take some tongs and just flip them over to make sure that they're gonna brown on both sides evenly. So, let's put it in the oven. All right, so now we have Ethan here who is going to do a quick taste test for us. Ethan. This one. Okay. So Ethan likes to dip his in a little bit of marinara sauce. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at the camera. <laughs> it's delicious. Mmm. I actually like to eat mine just by itself. So I am going to get me one. It's so good. But look at, um, we did better this time. Oh, I think so too. Thanks, Ethan. <laughs> the Italian season that you added here is just, it's so good, you guys. So definitely don't skip that. I can eat this whole plate. <laughs> it's so good. Don't hog it, mommy. I won't. I'm gonna hog it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you helped me, buddy. High five. 
We did it again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on this easy baked zucchini fry recipe. If you did, please leave me a big thumbs up down below and drop me a comment. Let me know what your favorite zucchini recipe is or if you plan on trying to make this particular zucchini fry recipe soon. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that red subscribe button down below along with the bell so you'll never miss when I upload a video every Wednesday. Until next time, friends, I'll see you later.